is a recording of this year's virtual residency fair. We'd like to take the time to thank the programs that volunteered their time to present to this year's applicants. This year's PMNR Scholars Virtual Residency Fair is supported by PMNR Recap and Ultrasound Guidance. PMNR Recap is the leading resource for your physiatry board preparation, clinical preparation, audition rotations, and beyond. PMNR Recap offers 35 hours of review videos, hundreds of review questions, and oral board cases to help you become the best physiatrist that you can be. Head to pmnrrecap.com to learn more. Ultrasound Guidance is the innovative new on online ultrasound learning platform that gives you instant access to expert instruction. With rapid scans and complete scans of every joint and peripheral nerve, Ultrasound Guidance is the perfect way to jumpstart your MSK ultrasound learning. Visit ultrasoundguidance.com to learn more. Um, so while that's pulling up, uh, I'll go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Joey Owens. I'm a PGY3 resident. Um, I'm joined on the call by Austin Peralta Fogel. Uh, he's a PGY2. Um, so he's on here to be able to answer questions along with me. Um, feel free to reach out to either of us directly. I'll give you my email once I get this up. Um, feel free to reach out to us at any time. But Okay. Um, Sorry, the firewall <laughs> for some reason has decided to not let me open the PowerPoint. So even though it was already open. No worries. Take your time. We know how technical difficulties can kind of catch up and things. So all good over here. I'm going to go ahead and share and see if we can get it. Um, or Austin, if, if you can just share it from your, if you're able to. Yeah, I can try to share it on my end and then I can just, just let me know if you want to advance through slides. Perfect. So we'll use a little bit of a teamwork here and, and get it done. Um, so again, uh, my name is Joey. Austin is on here as well. University of Texas at Austin Dell Medical School, PM&R program. Um, we are, yeah, you can, my contact info is there. I have it at the end as well. Doris is our program coordinator. She is fantastic. She's, you know, heart and soul of the program and will help you out in any way possible. If you have questions, go ahead and reach out to her as well. Um, the next slide is just a, a quick view into the future of uh, UT football, uh, Arch Manning. He's not the starting quarterback this year, but uh, very exciting. Uh, we'll see where, where he goes uh, and see what he's able to do. Um, the And hopefully this season goes well. So. The program, um, before getting into the details of the program, the city of Austin is a, is a really special place. I've only been here for uh, just over a year now. Uh, I did my intern year elsewhere. Um, and uh, But in the last year, really come to love, uh, love it here. These are my four kids. I asked them what they liked about Austin, what their favorite things were, my oldest. My kids are eight, six, four, and two going down the list here. My oldest said all of the schools and the fun activities. My next said the sunset, playing with my friends and getting donuts. And my two-year-old said donuts and puppies. So uh, I think we could probably just end the, the presentation there. We've covered all the bases, but, um, but obviously there's more to that. Um, you can go ahead and to the next slide. Just a nice picture of downtown. Uh, my kids always just point out how much they love the view of the city when we drive. Um, go ahead and keep going. So just some things about Austin. Uh, it's really a place for the young working professionals. It's an excellent place for those of us in 
kind of a resident age, but also whatever um, time of life you were in. Again, as I mentioned, I have four kids. Uh, several of our residents have kids as well. It's super family friendly. There's tons of activities to do. Um, I think we actually kind of residents kids in total outnumber the total number of residents we have uh, right now, which is which is fun. There are lots of lots of uh, kids around, but uh, also those without kids and every stage of life. So outdoor recreation, there is always something to do outdoors year round. Um, right now it's been very hot um, and they because we had a streak of I think 20 30 days over 100 degrees they made all of the public swimming pools free which was kind of fun we went to a couple natural cold water springs and the last few weeks which was fun um, food and drink is excellent and the people here are just amazing uh, the people in Austin the people in our program um, and I think that makes uh, a really big difference. So next slide. So the PMNR residency program itself, we have been around, uh, we were founded in 2012 and uh, the medical school, so we predated the medical school, um, but the residencies in Austin that have gone back for, for many years, um, and then PMNR came in 2012, and then the medical school came more recently. Uh, it's for being relatively new, we have had a lot of success with our graduating residents and alumni. Um, it's it's really an excellent place uh, and, and offers an excellent training. Um, we'll go through a little bit more of the detailed curriculum in just a few minutes. We're a little bit of a hybrid between an academic program and a community program. We kind of pull for the selling points from both, you know, backed by a world renowned university, University of Texas. Um, we have a lot of the resources that that offers, but also community based in, in a fact that a lot of our attendee, um, a lot of our uh, attendings are community-based, volunteering their time. We work with them one-on-one. -on -one. Their whole reason for having us is because they care about our training and want us to be able to have a diverse experience. So we get a diverse academic, private, uh, not-for-profit, kind of across the board in, in various different settings. So these are the people. And this is these are some of our core faculty, Dr. Bergfeld, is our program director. Uh, she is a uh, an excellent leader. Uh, she's always there to listen to the residents, fight for us, make sure that we are getting everything that we need and more. She uh, will talk about our continuity clinic in just a little bit, but as residents starting in our PGY2 year, we once a week, we run our own clinic with Dr. Bergfeld as our preceptor. So we one, get to do that, and then two, we get time to work one-on-one -on -one with a program director uh, every week and can talk about our week, talk about what's going on, bounce ideas, hardships, things that are going on off of her, and uh, just an excellent resource, excellent mentor. Dr. Wong is our uh, associate program director. She runs the consult service. Um, again, just a, an excellent mentor, uh, excellent attending. Dr. Hazelhorst, uh, is actually a, uh, she graduated from here. She's an alumni. She went and did a sports uh, medicine fellowship at Shirley Ryan Ability Lab uh, and then came back and is now one of our core faculty as well. Um, she works heavily with us as well as the medical students as a, a preceptor. Dr. Bosquez is our main pediatric attending. Um, very excellent, very amazing. She uh, worked over in Houston before coming here and has now been here for three or four years. Uh, and again, these are some of the core faculty, but we we have so many faculty from across the community that uh, are very dedicated to our education um, and cannot say enough about them. If I could go through each of them, that's what I would spend this time doing because they're truly the, the backbone of, of our training are the amazing faculty. So our curriculum is is spread out um, with inpatient and outpatient throughout the three years. Again, we're an advanced program, so we don't have 
an internship here. That being said, uh, if you are interested in doing all four years of your training in Austin, there is through the internal medicine program, um, a uh, there is an internship through them as a prelim year that for the last, currently we have a one of our PGY1s is training. And then last year uh, or two years ago, one of our PGY1s trained there as well. So it is an option. There's not a reserved spot for P PMNR, but I would definitely apply if you're interested um, in, in potentially staying here all four years. I, I did my intern year about an hour north of here um, just to kind of be close. And, and that was also excellent, but uh, just different options. Again, as I mentioned, we, we split it up between inpatient and outpatient. So you're doing a little bit of both each year. Uh, I, it, it benefits, I think there's multiple benefits to that, uh, not being burnt out. I think having all of your inpatient front loaded, uh, mixing it up. It also allows for some spaced repetition and learning. Uh, you get uh, that inpatient kind of each year. And again, as it was mentioned in a previous presentation in your PGY4 year, if you're planning to go straight into practice at an inpatient rehab facility, you have that experience as a fourth year to get ready for that. Um, it also a bit a big benefit and something that I personally experienced is as a PGY2, I um, was able to do two months of pain management and two months of musculoskeletal, which um, I was heavily interested in both pain fellowships and sports fellowships. So I was able to get the, that experience now and solidify my decision for fellowship uh, and get a lot of experience going into the uh, applications coming up this fall for me. Um, go ahead. So our, our rotations are, are kind of split, um, inpatient, outpatient, um, and we won't need, we don't need to go into details there. One, one thing that is, um, really nice is we, we have, uh, selective rotations that I'll talk about on the next slide. The selectives are two months that happen both in your PGY three and PGY four year. It is very open to doing whatever you want to do. Um, I am taking one of my selective months this, this, uh, fall to go almost do an away rotation um, at a pain uh, anesthesia pain fellowship program to kind of get my foot in the door as well as get more experience. Um, we've had past residents do um, similar with sports medicine, similar with other fellowship programs. We've also had people go overseas. Uh, if you have an idea, you can think it up, dream it up, present a plan, we can definitely make it happen. <clears throat> um, just some some things, our call schedule uh, is, is very nice. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, we take just about equal call throughout the three years. And it's really, it's about six weekends per year. Um, those are while you're on your inpatient rotations, uh, inpatient and consults, you, you'll cover weekends at the main uh, inpatient rehab hospital. Otherwise, your Saturdays and Sundays are free. So um, it's it's very nice. I haven't worked a Saturday and Sunday in several months, and, and that's been fantastic. Um, we do the self-assessment examinations, both for the AAPMNR, but also through the AANEM for electrodiagnostics. Um, I think a lot of programs do the AAPMNR, but I don't know that everyone does the AANEM. It kind of is helpful to just see where you're at. It's the same exam that a uh, neuromuscular fellow would be taking to see where they're at um, and just to help uh, solidify your knowledge of electrodiagnostics. Um, we do quality improvement projects actively. We have um, faculty helping us with those and mentoring us. Um, Again, I'll, I'll go into more detail, but our continuity clinic, and I already talked about it briefly, is is a big uh, aspect of our training. Journal club is really, I, I think most programs do journal club. We meet at a restaurant every last Thursday of the month. We go sit down, have a nice meal that is um, covered by the program. Uh, and that's always a good time to go over a few articles and then spend another hour or two just chatting, catching up with um, co-residents as well as faculty. We have about five minutes left. Okay, great. Um, this is just a couple of pictures from this last year. Um, this is us on the left just going out for end of the year retreat. 
we went out to a, had a nice brunch and I went to a nice coffee shop and then an arcade for a couple of hours and just took some time. These are some didactic photos. <clears throat> um, our weekly didactics are Wednesday mornings. These are primarily resident uh, run and, and directed. We have faculty that comes in and presents, but our, our chiefs are in charge of the didactics and putting it all together. And, and then we, we give a lot of the lectures and PowerPoints ourselves, which uh, helps quite a bit with learning when you have to present the material. Uh, we get a ton of procedural experience. Um, again, we're, we're doing outpatient and procedures um, starting from in our PGY2 year. Um, we go, our case volume well exceeds the graduation requirements. Um, we're typically over our 200 uh, EMGs within just your PGY2 year, and then you do those same rotations pretty much in your third and fourth year. So uh, tons of procedure experience. Um, so just our, our where we rotate IPR, we've historically just been at Central Texas Rehab Hospital. We're branching out to work at a second hospital to diversify our education, uh, Encompass Health Rehab has opened their doors to us and we'll be training with a uh, actually an alumni who's been a, an attending that there now for a couple of years. We're excited to start working with her. Um, we do our consults primarily at Dell Seton Medical Center, again with Dr. Wong. Um, we do occasionally work at Ascension, uh, another Ascension hospital. Uh, I listed this on here. We do have a brand new GME resident space there, which is where we're now doing our didactics at the medical center. Uh, it's really nice is doing our didactics there because we, we get a meal stipend and so we can go grab some breakfast tacos, grab some coffee, things like that, and, and do our didactics right there at the hospital. Uh, Dell Children's Medical Center is an, an excellent, uh, it's a, um, you know, a whole full service hospital and it has its own IPR unit. Um, Dr. Bosquez runs it. We both do our both inpatient peds and outpatient there, uh, really an excellent location. Um, just different outpatient clinics that we work with. Again, these are a lot of these are run by community physicians who are amazing and very dedicated to our education um, and great mentors. We have about two minutes left. Great. Um, just some alumni. All of this information is on our website. Um, this this link leads to our website as well. Um, all of our alumni have been, uh, are, are, we know several because they've come back to Austin um, and, and work here, uh, but they've gone on to do fellowships in all of the different fellowships that you can do and, and have been very successful. Um, these are just us. Again, our, we're listed on our website as well. I have my contact information here. Um, Austin is in the chat, but feel free to reach out to any of us and through in any way that you can. Um, these are this is the salary again. All of our benefits are listed. Uh, we do have a our salaries there. We do have a meal stipend that's a daily. Um, I think it's about thirty bucks a day, which is fantastic. Um, moonlighting is allowed starting halfway through your PGY two year, and yeah, I think that's my last slide. So we got thirty seconds <laughs> for questions. Sorry that uh, didn't have a lot of times, but. Does your program have any current or had any international medical graduates? Uh, we don't have any currently. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what all um, uh, what all the requirements are. Doris here, Doris Foss, our program coordinator, would be the first point of contact for any specific questions like that, um, as well as for board cutoff scores or year graduation cutoff. I don't have that information, but she would have that. Um, currently, we're not having any virtual didactics. Um, Again, if anything were to become available like that, Doris would be your point of contact and, and feel free to ask her. Um, we do accept visiting student rotations. Um, the, uh, again, Doris is your point of contact. I believe it's you would apply through the VSLOW um, program to be able to do that, but I would start with, uh, yeah, there we go, Austin, help me out there. We go through the VSLOW. Um, I didn't, that wasn't available I, I when I, was doing my fourth year and um, we just, it was during the pandemic, but I was, I reached out to the program coordinator and was able to figure 
out kind of an alternative thing because I was interested. I think showing interest is is definitely helpful. We appreciate that. And if you can rotate, if you're interested, it's it's very helpful. Um, 